What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to bring you an unboxing and a quick review of this AMR5 mini gaming PC. I'm going to use this mostly for video editing, but you might be able to use it in a DJ software for some streaming. It's a nice compact size computer. We'll do an unboxing and then we'll run a quick test. I'll show you what I think of this uh, mini PC. Coming right up, the review of this Ace Magician or Ace Magic AMR5. All right, guys, so here I have uh, the AMR5 mini gaming PC. As you can tell, I have it all hooked up. I've been using it for a couple weeks, and I've been pretty happy with it. Um, again, it has the dual SSD slot. It came with 16 gigs of RAM, and I did update it to 32 gigs of RAM, so that will help the performance a bit. I haven't set it up with Serato or the like, but I tell you this, I have been using it with um, PowerDirector and some other video uh, photo editing software, and it's been working pretty good. I've been pretty impressed with it. I was going to say real quick, this is how you take this off. It's just magnets and a couple little hooks here, and this is how you upgrade your RAM. Like I said, this came with 16, which is decent, but to today's day and age, man, you got to have at least 32 gigs of RAM. Here is, I believe, the SSD slot. So this is basically, as far as my limited computer knowledge goes, this is basically like a small laptop here that you can put on your desktop. And here are the kind of cheesy RGB red, green, blue, LED strips you can go in and there's an app you download and you put on your computer and it will be able to control some of this I haven't messed with it because it hasn't really bothered me one issue that I did have when I upgraded this RAM here guys I had an issue as far as the little clips one of them on the side broke so you have to be very careful when you're putting in if you if you're going to update it to uh, 32 gigs of RAM so it's 16 and 16 I'm not the best at math that's 32 I'm so silly anyways um, 32 gigs of RAM and I think I just went to micro center there's a list that comes with the computer of um, compatible RAM but I just went with a different brand that fit the same requirements and they worked fine but putting it in is, can get kind of tricky, but that might be for most computers. I did break one of these little clips that goes on here, but I still was able to um, get the RAM in. It took a couple times. I wasn't really sure because I wasn't sure if I was pressing them in um, hard enough. But it just clicks on and clicks off the, the 32 gigs. I would suggest upgrading it to 32 gigs because why not? What is it, 2024, 2023? Let's look at the front here. We have all our uh, USBs. I believe these are 3.0s, and I have it already running. There is a Type-C cord. I think almost all of today's phones, smartphones, whether it's iPhone even, and obviously Android will use Type-C, so you can use the USB Type-C to connect some of your gear here. This is where I have my audio. The audio in, and, I, and I'm sorry, I'm trying to be ginger here because I already have it hooked up, and I'm too... Uh, much of an old man and it's a pain in the ass to uh, take this out but this is how i have the audio so i believe the audio and the mic are simultaneous it will adjust to whatever you're putting in if you're putting in a mic or if you're putting in or if you're using it as an external output you will use that let's look on the back here as you can tell you've got your um what is this the uh the cable modem um, what do they call it again lan lan plug i have that because i'm running my computer and i want to have the hard wire for my internet there it is here you got your HDMI, I'm using it for my screen, another USB, another USB, and I believe the DP is for display port. Anyways, it is a pretty silent computer. You'll hear the little fans, I believe there's fans in here, I don't want to tear this up because obviously it's a small computer, but you'll see when you turn it on, you're going to have, when you start it, you just click over to the right, here's an auto, and allegedly this is the performance. And when you put it in performance mode, you'll see those cute little lights. They will turn red. Auto is green. Okay, and I believe the uh, silent mode uh, is blue. So there you go. So you go blue, red, green, RGB. Um, once again, this is running a Ryzen 5000 series chip and supposedly an AMD graphics card. Seems to do your trick. Definitely 
for basic computing and I was able to use my editing software. This is great just for regular um, computing for sure. It can handle that. And we did run some games. Um, I believe my kid ran Fortnite and my kid ran another role playing type games. I don't think this is going to run something crazy like what is it Cyberpunk 2077. But to edit videos, to edit photographs, maybe even to stream, this is going to do rather well for the price point. Again, I like the footprint here. As you can tell, it's right up here on my desk. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of room. I am impressed with this and we have run a couple games. I have been impressed by running the games and running my software. For right now, we're going to give it a recommend. We'll see how the Ace Magician AMR5 holds up through the years and months. All right, guys, final thoughts on this AMR5 mini gaming PC. The price point under $300. I don't think you're going to find so much packed into a different computer at this price point. You have the expandable RAM, the expandable memory. You have Windows 11, not the home version. Windows 11 comes on it. No bloatware. No bloatware is very cool. Um, pet peeve that I did have on it, because it is so small, it does not have, like some of the bigger computers, the slots for your storage cards, your SD cards. You're going to have to use a 3.0 adapter hub to get that stuff on. One more thing I wanted to mention is I did have an issue sometimes when I transferred over media, especially MP4 file, video files, MVI files, where when I would play it in my media player, my Windows 11 media player, I had an issue. It looked choppy. It did not always happen, but it did happen. But I can't put this on the computer because it might be an issue with Windows or the media player. If anyone had these issues with this computer playing choppy video footage, let me know. Otherwise, I think it's a really good deal. I was able to edit videos in this. They were, I was able to scrub through this timeline, no issues. I was able to play games like Fortnite, lower level games, maybe not the higher level games. I don't expect it, but for the price point, $300 for general internet use, it's perfect. There's no issues with that. The footprint is small. You're not taking up space. It's not the big old computer taking up all your room on your desktop. Be sure to subscribe, like, share. Also, I have music coming out January 12th, 2024. My newest release, Space 1999. That's going to be coming out. Please check that out and please support independent music however you can. Again, my music is on Spotify, most of the streaming services, iTunes, and Bandcamp. Once again, thank you for checking out my video and like, share, subscribe, all that stuff.